Good day. I'm Andrew, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Sometimes customers ask me why their CloudFormation stack is stuck in the state create in progress, update in progress, update rollback in progress, or delete in progress. Generally speaking, a CloudFormation stack is stuck when a particular resource is failing to create, update, or delete. Today, I'm going to show you how to investigate why your stack is stuck in these states. Let's get started. The first thing you want to look into when troubleshooting your CloudFormation stack is to check which resource is preventing your stack from progressing closer to the completion state. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudFormation Console. Then select the stack that's stuck. In this example, my stack test is stuck in the state create in progress. Finally, choose the Resources tab. Here, you're looking for resources where the create, update, delete action was requested but is not yet fulfilled. In this example, my Amazon Elastic Container Service is stuck in the state create in progress. This resource is causing my CloudFormation stack to be stuck in the create in progress state. After you identify the resource that's causing your stack to be stuck, the next step is to inspect that resource to see why it's causing the stack to be stuck. To do this, I'll inspect the resource itself in its console. Because my stack was stuck due to the Amazon ECS service, I'll look into the service in the ECS console for more information. In particular, I'll look at the service's events log, its stop tasks, and the Amazon CloudWatch logs that I set up in my task definition. You can find more resources online from AWS support that you can use to troubleshoot your individual resources. Sometimes your resource doesn't appear to have any errors in its respective console, and yet your CloudFormation stack is stuck. If this is the case, then you can inspect your AWS CloudTrail logs to investigate your issue further. In this example, I can see that my CloudFormation stack is stuck in update in progress because of my Amazon Elastic Block Store volume. However, if you look into the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud console, it looks like there aren't any issues with this volume. I'll now look into the CloudTrail logs to further investigate into why my EBS volume is stuck. First, I'll navigate to the CloudFormation stack events. Then I'll note the time that the CloudFormation initialized the creation of the stuck resource. In my case, the EBS volume initialized the creation at 2020, February 25th at 20.05, after this, I'll navigate to the CloudTrail console and then choose Event History. For the time range, I'll enter the starting time as the time that we noted earlier. For my case, I'll enter 2020 February 25th at 20.05 p.m. As for the ending time, I'll enter the time as five minutes after the resource initialized creation. For my case, I'll enter 2020 February 25th at 8 10 p.m. Then I'll apply my settings. Please note that it may take some time to see the API calls. When looking into the logs, I can see that the API modify volume was called a few times. What you're looking for can differ depending on what resource is stuck. When expanding one of these API calls, I can see that my EBS volume doesn't update because of the error, you've reached the maximum modification rate per volume limit wait at least six hours between modifications per EBS volume. This is why my CloudFormation stack was stuck in update in progress. Now that you understand why your CloudFormation stack is stuck, the next question that you might have is how to get your CloudFormation stack unstuck. There are a few ways to get your CloudFormation stack unstuck from the create in progress, update in progress, or update rollback in progress state. For most cases, just wait for your CloudFormation stack to time out. The value for the stack to timeout can vary depending on the individual resource that is currently stuck and whether you have set the timeout stack creation option. However, there are a few resources such as Amazon Elastic Container Service Services and Custom Resources where you can bypass the timeout to get your stack unstuck quickly. 
I've listed some resources in the Associated Knowledge Center article that contain instructions on how to bypass this timeout value and get your CloudFormation stack unstuck quickly. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>